When we're looking at combustion reactions, we can calculate the energy that is released during the reaction using the equation E equals Cm delta T, which you can find in the front of your data book. The different parts of the equation are shown here. Energy is always measured in kilojoules. C is the specific heat capacity of water. It's 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per degrees Celsius. You can find this in the front of your data book, so you don't need to remember this value. The M is the mass of the water that is heated, and this is always in kilograms. This is very important. This is not the mass of the alcohol that is burned or any other substance. It is always the mass of the water. And then finally, the delta T. We've got delta, which we have met before during an average rate in unit one. Delta just means change. So here we've got the change in temperature of the water. So everything in this equation is about the water. It is not about the thing that you are burning. So you are burning some sort of substance to heat up water, and that is how we're carrying out the calculation. We'll look at our first example. We'll calculate the energy released when one gram of propanol is burned. The temperature of 100 centimetres cubed of water is raised by 20 degrees C. To not be misled by the fact that they've put in some information about the alcohol, that is purely there to see if you can work out what mass that you're using and can be used for further calculations later on as well. I'm going to go through the question and I'm going to underline the bits that we are interested in. So we are calculating energy. We have volume of water, which we can turn into a mass. So we can do that later. We have temperature rise, so they've given you the delta T there, and the C is in your data book. So we have E equals Cm delta T. So if we take each part in turn, we have E and it is equal to 4.18. The M. We cannot use 100 centimetres cubed of water. That is not a mass. So at the side, 100 centimetres cubed of water is the equivalent to 100 grams of water. We can convert between the two by dividing by 1,000 to get into kilograms. So if we divide by 1,000, we'll get 0 0.1 kilograms of water. This is the value that we are going to use in our equation. And then finally we have our delta T value which is 20. All we have to do to work out the energy is multiply the three together. You can use a calculator for that and you will find that it's 8.36 kilojoules that has been released in this reaction. We've got our next example here. We're calculating energy again. It says released when two grams of ethanol is burned, so we completely ignore that value. We're looking purely for water. We have the start temperature of 150 centimetres cubed of water is 19 degrees, and the final temperature is 32. So we're going to have to do a sum to work out our delta T. And then again, we've been given a volume of water. This is very common. We'll have to change this into kilograms. So we have E equals C M and delta T. First thing that we're going to do is change our water. We're going to do that again. So we have 150 centimetres cubed, which equals 150 grams. We're going to divide by a thousand. This will give us 0 0.15 kilograms. We also need to work out our delta T, so our final temperature is 32, our start temperature is 19, that gives us a delta T of 13 degrees that we can use in our reaction. So here we're going to have E equals, now C is again coming straight out of the data book, 4.18, multiply it by the mass, 0.15, multiplied by 13, that gives you a final energy 
it was released of 8.15 kilojoules. This next example is slightly different. We have been given the energy, so we are going to be calculating something else in this case. But we have an energy of 15 kilojoules. We have a start temperature, 12 degrees, and we are trying to calculate the final temperature. So this is slightly different. Again, we've been given a volume of water, which we'll have to change into the mass. So if we write out an equation, as we always do, so E equals C M delta T. So at the side, we'll do our conversion for the water. So the 200 centimetres cubed is the same as 200 grams. And then divide by a thousand to give us 0 0.2 kilograms. We can start putting our numbers into our equation. So we have 15 kilojoules is equal to 4.18 multiplied by 0 0.2, and this time we're just going to leave delta t as it is. If we work this out, we end up with delta T equals 15 divided by 4.18 multiplied by 0.2. So that gives us a change in temperature of 18. So this has been our temperature rise. We started off with a temperature of 12 degrees and it's risen by 18 degrees so we can add that on and that gives us a final temperature of 30 degrees C.